Hey traders, Money Badger here again, and I'd like to welcome you back to Badger Trading University. If you haven't already joined the BTU Discord, click the link in the video description below. In our previous video series, we took an in-depth look at the simple and exponential moving averages, and how they can be applied using both the dual and triple moving average crossover strategies. Our learning today further builds on that knowledge, so be sure to check those videos out as well. The MACD, which stands for Moving Average Convergence Divergence, is used to reveal changes in the strength, direction, momentum, and duration of a trend. This indicator consists of two moving averages and a histogram that oscillate above and below the center line, also known as the zero line. The MACD line in blue is calculated by subtracting the 26 period exponential moving average or EMA from the 12 period EMA. The signal line in orange represents the 9 period EMA of the MACD and the histogram illustrates the difference between the MACD and the signal line. Two important concepts to keep in mind are convergence, which occurs as the MACD line and signal line come closer together, and divergence, which occurs when the two lines separate further apart. The histogram also illustrates convergence as the bars shorten closer to the zero line and divergence as the bars lengthen and become further away from the zero line. The MACD is considered by some both a leading and lagging indicator. The MACD line and signal line are lagging indicators as they only provide trading signals once they have crossed each other and the trend is already in motion. The histogram on the other hand can be considered a leading indicator as it can sometimes be used to anticipate signal line crossovers. The three main strategies traders use when using the MACD include signal line crossovers, zero line crossovers, and histogram reversals. Signal line crossovers are simple yet effective. A buy signal occurs as the MACD line crosses above the signal line and a sell signal occurs as the MACD line crosses below the signal line. For zero line crossovers, it is more important to view these signals as confirmation for previous buy and sell signals produced by signal line crossovers. As you can see here, entering and exiting trades based solely on zero line crossovers may not always provide traders with the best trading opportunities. And lastly, histogram reversals or divergences are arguably the most useful signal as a leading indicator. Each bar on the histogram increases in height as the market moves in one direction or another and the further the bars are away from the zero line, the stronger the momentum is in that direction. This can be an early sign of a potential crossover as the bars become increasingly shorter, moving closer toward the zero line, which illustrates a decrease in momentum. In other words, as the histogram diverges from the price action, a reversal may be likely to occur. Before ending our video, I would like to remind you that it is extremely important to understand that most indicators, the MACD included, are not meant to be used by themselves to make trading decisions. Trading with confluence and stacking elevating factors can strengthen your risk management and prevent entering or exiting a bad trade based on a false signal. Always look for multiple signals to support each of your trading decisions. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and maybe even learned something new, please like, subscribe, and join our Discord by clicking the link in the video description below.